everyone, it's me Claire and I'm back with a, another video for you. This time I'm giving you my opinion on why you shouldn't buy Jeremy Fragrances fragrance. So Jeremy is launching a new fragrance as we all know. Perfumer is Alberto Marias and the fragrance is called The Office. So when I think of The Office, I actually think of the comedy that plays on cringe, that office comedy, the British version with Ricky Gervais, hilarious but super, super cringy. And then of course there's the American version, which I haven't really watched, but very funny. As soon as I hear The Office, that's what I think, that comedy. And what Jeremy's idea here with the fragrance is to create a fragrance that is uh, for the non-thinking person. So he's trying to create a fragrance that just says the office so that if you don't have quite enough brain cells in your head to decide what you want to wear, you just have to look for the words the office on your bottle and you spray that on. And no doubt further down the line there will be clubbing, dating, funerals, skiing. I don't know but I'm sure there will be a selection of venues in the fragrance lineup but for for now Jeremy's starting with the office so if Jeremy gets his way and the fragrance army takes over the world every single man in every single office will smell of the office I'm not sure I'm feeling that so that's why I think you should wear a fragrance that you like to the office but of course you have to think about your colleagues and you don't want to be too offensive you don't want to go too polarizing with your choices and you don't want to go too strong I mean you can go too strong you can go too polarizing but you might piss off your colleagues so I've picked out some perfect office scents that you will smell really nice you will smell good but you shouldn't be offending anyone however I've just got one for those people that perhaps would rather have a fragrance called The Office. If you want to smell like everybody else, so as at the moment, Jeremy hasn't taken over the world, but what has taken over the world is Dior Sauvage. So if you want to smell like everybody else, then that's the one to go for. There are several people at my place of work that wear that. It smells good, it smells pleasant. I can see why it's very popular, but unfortunately it's, uh, in my opinion, it's a victim of its own popularity it's just it's everywhere if you don't want to smell like everyone else then please keep watching because i've got 10 really fabulous fragrances that you can wear to the office that are not going to offend anyone you're going to smell good hopefully you'll stand out slightly different from all your colleagues who are wearing sauvage and in uh, come april all your colleagues will be wearing jeremy fragrance the office if jeremy has his way here we go in no particular order great fragrance for the office and I have sung its praises many many times and Mr Smelly as well we both really love Dunhill Icon great one for the office because it has the freshness of Neroli it has the soft musky woodsiness there's lots of isoe super in here which is a very crowd pleasing note most people love Isoe Super, even if they don't know what it is. It's just a really good citrus, woody, fresh scent, and it does give you pretty good performance. It should last you most of the working day, if not all of it. Another one that's quite citrusy, but actually this one's gonna stand out a little bit more because it's a little bit old school in the way it smells. I'm just gonna spray a little bit. Ooh. This one, super fresh but it's got that masculine sort of it's got lavender in there i think it smells very masculine i would hazard a guess that there's a good uh, fair enough dose of oak moss and some green notes just to give it that masculine edge citrus and green very classy but kind of a bit old school so not for everyone but if you're a more mature man i think this is a really good one this one is Tom Fultz and Rolly Portofino Aqua. I've picked this one in particular, but you could wear the original Neroli Portofino or you could wear Neroli Portofino Forte. 
but with Aqua you get more for your money. I get as good performance as I do from the original Neroli Portofino, but it's slightly muskier, slightly fluffier. So you get that clean cloves kind of smell from it. Not in a bad way, it really, really nice, like you've got freshly laundered cloves on and a gorgeous citrusy cologne. It's a really, really great fragrance and you can get it for reasonable prices now. It's been out a few years and it's cheaper than the uh, original Neroli Portofino. I think it's a really good one and often overlooked. Now then, let's go for something slightly different. Valentino Uomo, this is the original version. I've got some on my hand. If you want to wear something a little bit sweeter, this could be good for colder weather. If you're looking for something a little bit more cozy, but still it's not super sugary sweet. There's nothing in there that's leaning too feminine. There is iris in there, which gives it that powdery woodsy note. Is there a hint of hazelnut, a hint of chocolate, but not in any kind of photorealistic gourmand way. It's just almost like a hint of, it's just, uh, subtle nuances of chocolate but more is woodsy more it's irisy there's a quite a freshness in the opening from the bergamot but then it dries down to this powdery fresh clean slightly sweet smell which is really really nice so i really like that one performance is not the best you may wish to respray halfway through the day if you choose that option next up this is an all-time, long-term favourite of mine since Mr Smelly introduced it to me. We each have our own bottle, Aqua de Palma Colonia Essenza. And this one is, starts off super citrusy, really, really strong, almost like you took citrus fruits and you boiled them down to their most concentrated. It's a super strong citrusy to start with. But then in the dry down, that calms down. It gets woodsy, it gets musky. It smells like the most well-groomed person you could ever be when you're wearing this. Mr. Smelly wore it on a plane once when we were going on holiday. I could smell it the whole time. It was in the air for about three or four hours. And he just smelled so clean, so well-kept. It, it was just a perfect fragrance to go on a flight with and I think it's perfect for the office as well and the performance is really really good as well so something slightly different again Chanel's Derville this is a quite a green fresh fragrance so this almost smells like uh, leaves if you took fresh green leaves and then made a lemonade with them so it's fizzy it's slightly sweet it does smell lemony but it also smells very green and i get quite good performance bearing in mind these are kind of cologne type fragrances i would say you're going to get half a day at the office of reasonable projection so just take a decant and respray prices on these if you can get it at the airport you're only going to pay about 70 to 80 pounds for 125 mils which i don't think is too bad but if you have to get it from a chanel boutique you will pay a fair bit more so my uh, advice is if you're on the lookout for one of these from this line the paris line then do try and get it from the airport if you can but a really good fizzy fresh green fragrance okay another one from dunhill I just bought this one for Mr. Smelly. It's called Dunhill Century. It's a sandalwood fragrance with lots of clean musks and a hint of neroli. It's more modern than some of the other fragrances here. And I think what I love about it is that clean muskiness. I do really enjoy the smell of freshly washed clothes and whilst that can smell a bit cheap to some people I think if it's done correctly it can smell really really good and in conjunction with the other notes the uh, citruses and the sandalwood it's really lovely so that's a good one and it can be bought quite cheaply I got mine from a discounter didn't pay too much for it at all so really good one for the office Dunhill Century okay we are nearly there another citrusy one this is Zerzhov's Renaissance 1861. This is a little bit on the pricey side, but you can find it at discounters now. 
I think this one was around the £72 mark, I could be wrong. So that's not too bad, it's quite a good concentrated fragrance. This is more, a little bit more playful than all the others because this one has not just got citruses, it also has what I smell as summer fruits. Like it's got mint in it and it just smells like a freshly cut fruit cocktail. It smells really, really luscious and natural and fresh. But then in the dry down, you get some vetiver, a little bit hint of woods. It's a bit musky. It's just very, very crowd pleasing. Maybe not for your most serious office days, maybe not for your job interview or if you're going for promotion. But if your office is quite relaxed, a kind of rela relaxed vibe going on, then this would be perfect. Renaissance 1861. And then, nearly there, this one is a perfect. Now this fragrance is perfect for any situation. You cannot go wrong with it. You will smell good, you will smell inoffensive. People will compliment you. It's my most complimented fragrance out of everything I own. This one is Molecule One by Eccentric Molecules. It's my go-to for the gym because it's not gonna offend anyone. And it's absolutely amazing for the office because People do really, really love the smell on you. It's stronger than you probably think. And I had one lady who had to buy a bottle after she smelt it on me at work. Really excellent fragrance. It just smells woody and clean, almost like concrete dust. It has a magical smell to it that you can't quite pinpoint how it smells. You just know that you love the way it smells. That's Molecule One. And then the last one, I don't have a bottle, I just have a sample. I do think this is an excellent fragrance and I really think Mr. Smelly should be getting a bottle of this one. And it's called Colonia Sandalo. Colonia Sandalo, I've sprayed some here. This, if you want to stand out, maybe you're trying to impress at the office then I think this one is really, really good. If you like sandalwood in fragrances, oh, it's so good. So in here you have all the typical citruses that you get in all the Aqua de Palmas. You've got lemon, orange, bergamot. You've also got petit grain, which is uh, the twigs and leaves from the orange tree. But then you also have lavender, which starts to creep in after the initial uh, blast of citruses. And then that introduces a gorgeous sandalwood note. And that's where it's at right now on my, on my hand. Beautiful, beautiful, but subtle and understated sandalwood. Really lovely, ever so slightly spicy as well. I think this is an excellent fragrance. I really do. Mr. Smelly's birthday is coming up in January. Shall I buy it for him? I think I should, but I need to buy him what he wants, not what I want him to wear. But that's my number one pick. I said they're not in any order, but this is the number one spot because I think it is excellent. It is going to make you stand out from the crowd, but it's not going to polarise. It just smells bloody good. So do try and get your noses on that one. So that is it. They are my best fragrances for men for the office instead of buying Jeremy Fragrances, The Office. Let me know what you think. What do you wear to The Office? Will you be buying Jeremy's fragrance? And I do wish him the best. I wish him success with his fragrance. This is it's kind of done in jest, and I hope that you will realise that. Let me know what you wear to The Office and what you think of my picks, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.